Okay, so I'm going to start the stream today. I am going to try something that I've literally just stumbled across, and it may be a way, hopefully it's going to work, to get all the premium cigarette cards that I need in the collections. Now, this is something you're probably going to need to do if anyone else is going to do this at end game, once you've got that big wedge of money to burn. Um, I am using the vendor bring up the map up in Van Horn because the premium cigarettes are on the shelf which speeds this up so if you wanna try this I mean other vendors may have the premium cigarettes on the shelf so it's easy access but I am using this one to speed this up so you can only hold so many cigarettes and the way this works every time you open up a packet of cigarettes or you buy a packet of cigarettes you get one of the premium cigarette cards now so far if I go to documents I guess they are cigarette cards world champion card 7952 there's like lots of different collections cigarette cards flora of North America gunslingers and outlaws like you can actually look at these and I've got some duplicates as well so you can go for all your cards and once you've got a full collection, you can sell them, which I've never been allowed to do yet, because I've never found enough. There's lots of different collections, lots of different cards. Now, the technique I've found. So, premium cigarettes, you can only hold so many. Now, you're going to need a lot of money to do this, because they are $3.75 each cigarettes. So, when you're at maximum, just open up your satchel. Go to your premium cigarettes. And just discard one cigarette. Don't worry about smoking it and burning them down. If you don't want to sit there smoking in the game. Now, you can rebuy the premium cigarettes. And it's going to give you a card. And I just got horses card 11. So I've got 5 or 12 on that selection now. So, same thing again. Just open up the satchel, go to the cigarette, discard one cigarette, and buy another packet. So literally you're just paying 375 for a card. Marvels of Travel card set. Literally that is all this is. If you're willing to pay for the cards instead of the long process of finding them in the game and buying the odd packet here and there, this is a sure far way once you've got all that money to burn. To build up that collection as fast as you can and get every single card and you're gonna get duplicates as well so you might not get in double of some now I don't know what the payout for these are but I'm assuming there's going to be some kind of achievement for doing so and obviously if you're a completionist you're gonna to want to collect these cards but this you could do nice and fast as well if you really wanted to you smoke in the shop of course you can smoke in the shop So let's see how many I can get. Amazing Inventions card 8. I'm assuming it's probably going to say when you finish the set, you'll probably get some kind of notification for that, surely. Floor of America card 10. You gotta wait till the inspect card thing's gone. That's the only slow part about this. But this is a lot faster than going around finding around the map every what hour or so, if you're lucky. Why did that not discard? Did I open it up too quick? I've got quite a few cards already in the last few minutes.
stars of the stage. So there's so many different sets to collect. I imagine this is going to take a long time to try and get all of them. But this technique works. It doesn't seem to have any kind of daily cap. I can just keep doing this technique, delete one, buy another packet. You just got to look at it, it's $3.75 for a card. But. Maybe you'll do this as a last step resort if you want to find every single card manually throughout the game. They're all scattered around the game, of course, as well as the packets you buy and find. This also seems to be increasing the dead eye core or the dead eye health. Or, you know, bar. I noticed that earlier, so that's twice it's done that. So collecting these cards, cards does increase dead eye. Interesting to know. It's a good dead eye experience, apparently. You can't grumble at that. All this, and we don't ruin our lungs. Win win, right? Seven of twelve on them ones. Six or twelve on them ones. Oh, I didn't delete it. If you know a faster way of doing this, then be sure to let me know. But this, as far as I'm aware, what I've just found here, is by far the quickest way to get this cigarette card collection done. As time consuming as it may seem, you're not going to do this any quicker. Interrupted, come on. 
One's not deleting it. There you go. Still trying to register cards, I think. Dead Eye, there you go. 75% to level 8. Nice, nice, nice. Infinite supply, which is always good to see. Only three or twelve on them. They're quite rare, them by the looks of it. I wonder if there is some that may only appear in the world that you have to find. If so, I should be good for quite a few because I've found a fair amount out in the world. Yeah, this is constantly ranking up Dead Eye experience. Trying to get a lot of doubles and stuff by the looks of it. Interesting. <laughs> Refusing to delete. Come on. Discard. Okay. I'll see that too quick. Discard. There you go. Only four or twelve on that collection. Thank God you've only got to discard one and not a full packet of 20. Because that would take some time. I must have at least a few in every collection now though, surely. I don't know how many different collections there are. Dead Eye increase level 8. See, this is banging for Dead Eye. Banging for Dead Eye. Abigail left you. Yeah, I won't worry too much. Bless you. Work hard and you might get her back. Money I've got still got 16,000. I'm still good. We're still good. I've bought my horse, uh, bought all the weapons I want, I bought all the clothes I want. There's probably still more clothes I could buy just for the hell of it, which I have been doing already. 
Uh, pimped my guns. That's done. Nothing really to spend it on. I mean, I was planning as soon as I got to end games, do all like as many bank robberies and train robberies as I could possibly do and just experiment. But I'm more interested in the side stuff. Like, I found a corpse that was torn to pieces with a little note attached to the head of a piece of a map. And on the back it said, me, written in blood. So I think I stumbled across a serial killer. And let's go back to that area to see if it's like in that town. Like, search the remaining area or surrounding area. Solve that. There's loads of little Easter eggs that you could just stumble across, and it's mad. But yeah, I'm so rich at the moment, I don't need to do anything too bad, too drastic in the game. I will, though. I'm sure I'll be skint eventually. I mean, this ain't helping buying all these cigarettes. But 16k, Ugh, that's gonna last ages. 20 minutes later, he's skint. I wonder if there's any kind of like super super rare cards. I've got four the same there by the looks of it. Yeah, invention cards too. Four the same. Wow. That's a bit of a Mickey take. Twelve. Nine. Gems of beauty only five. Yes, doing them in the packets, you're going to get a lot of doubles. But I remember in the animation, or the cinematic, when you come across the cigarette card collector, he did say that you will accumulate a lot of doubles along the way. Oh, let me delete. So why let me delete? There you go. Nine or twelve or whatever that one was. Three twenty four AM. This dude should be shot. <laughs> He hasn't said a word though. Not one word. He hasn't told me to get out of his shop. You can't even buy anything when you go off of him. There's no catalogue. All you can do on this one, at least for me, end game, is uh, buy stuff off the shelf. So luckily the cigarettes are on the shelf. So I can do this with the cards. I'm going to check the collections in a minute and see if there's any that are close. 8 out of 12. I think the closest one I've seen was 9 out of 12, I think.
Right, I am going to do a quick save just in case. Just in case, because you never know this game. You never know. Point six. Must be from collecting the cards. So it's definitely worth doing a save. And back at it. Eleven or twelve on that one. Ooh, that collection's almost done. What was that? Amazing inventions. Nine or twelve on that one. So we want an amazing inventions. Amazing inventions. quick All right, still waiting for it to catch up okay. that was an amazing adventures one I'm sure it was Probably not the right one though, because nothing's popped up. Ten out of twelve. There was another amazing invention one right there. And it didn't come up as a double. Twelve out of twelve. Oi oi savaloi. So Let's go to collections. Uh, cigarette cards, start of the stage. Where was it? Amazing inventions. Where are they then? Oh, there they are. That one. Second one. So we've got 12 out of 12 on this one, apparently. With a few doubles. Seems to do quite well though. Four of them ones. So let's have a look at them then. A full collection of amazing inventions. So the electric light bulb is the first one. Buck's revolver. Second one. Manned glider. I haven't seen one of them in the game yet, I don't think. So hopefully that means there's one in the game. Uh, telegraph. Automatic player piano. Steam locomotive. The fountain pen. Cylinder phonograph. Dynamite. Boom. The camera, obviously. W. M. A. Burt's typewriter. Well, typewriters come a long way after that, let's say. The electrical execution apparatus. The electric chair, which you help that dude in the city uh, make and find a victim for. Bless him. And that's it. So that's all the Amazing Inventions cards. That collection is complete. And I think that's the only collection that's complete so far. Does it say there... 
doesn't say how many I've got, does it? Ten. 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 Nine. Ten. Twelve seems to be the maximum done it. Seven. Six. Ten. Six. Ten. So we are getting there with a lot of them, to be fair. So let's uh, continue. This poor shopkeeper must be like a zombie, man. This is hard work. He's just like sweet, I think. Eleven to twelve on that one. Ten as well on that one. Eleven to twelve. Eleven to twelve. Seven to twelve. I've still got quite a ways to go, and they seem quite rare. Eleven to twelve on that one. We've got a few that are pretty much done. Literally complete a few more sets, and then uh, sets in the next few packs, potentially. Come on, RNG. 8 of 12. Oh, still good, still good. It's not a double. We'll take not a double. Not 
9 to 12. Come on, finish off one of the collections. 10 or 12. That one's catching up the others. It was a double though, so I don't know why it's coming up going ka -ching. Another beauty one. Probably another double. Oh no, it's not a double. It's another fresh one. 11 or 12. That's what, three sets at least? That are 11 or 12. Twelve or twelve on was it artists and poets? Let's have a look. Let's get rid of a cigarette for a start. This one, I believe. Oh, artists, writers, and poets. One of twelve. There we go then. So, Miss Maud Delancey, Doctor Hawthorne's. Domestic brand cigarettes. Oh, that's just the cigarettes. Evelyn Miller. I thought Evelyn was a bird's name. That's definitely a bloke, right? Richard McCulloch. Yeah, we'll go with that. Richard McCulloch. Uh, George Dixie. Edith Cornine. Preston Stefferson. Slick Hutton. Yeah, it's rather slick. What? W. G. Hoyt, Lawrence Carson, Elsie Rose, and Charles Chantenay. Oh, and an Aldos Bramley. And that's the last one. So that's the artists, writers, and poets collection. That's two collections complete. Eleven or twelve on that one as well now, so uh, another pack can be complete any second. Twelve or twelve on that one, sweet. Whatever that one was. Um, is this one on it? So this one is Flora of America. Twelve of twelve. Let's have a look. Yeah, beautiful. Sage. I can't even read that, what does that say? Lupini? Wow, that's such small writing, man. Yeah, a tree with a flower. Something mangrove? Can't even read that. Indian tobacco. Coastal redwood? Desert. Fan palm, longleaf pine, yarrow, hummingbird sage, golden currant, horse crippler cactus. Okay, we're going to stay away from that then. Blazing star. Okay, rather boring that card collection, if I'm absolutely honest with you. Still, that's three collections complete. Nice. 
line on that one. Eleven or twelve on that one. Another one that's pretty much done. So many now that are on the verge of being done. And completed three, and there's at least four, I'd say, three or four that are ready to be done. Twelve or twelve on the horses one, there we go. So let's have a look at the horses one, let's delete that. There we go, there's the horses, one of twelve. So the Ardines, Mustang, the Lucata, the Cola, American Paint, Hungarian Halfbred, Dutch Warmblood, Turkoman, Thoroughbred, Appaloosa, American Standard Bread, Missouri Fox Trotter. Andalusian, and that's it. So there's no Arabian in there, or did I miss that? Okay, so the best horse in the game is not even on the cigarette card collection. Huh. Fair enough. Right, that's what four collections done. What's the cost about so far? About five hundred dollars at the most. Well, we know the flora cards are no good. We've done that collection. No, get off, satchel. Oh, for the same card there, what? Oh, that's a fresh one, I think. 12 or 12 on that one, yes indeed. Famous gunslingers. So... One of twelve, that's okay. Let's have a look then. Frank Heck. Black Bell. Otis Miller Boys. Billy Midnight. Butcher Bros. Slim Grant. Landon Ricketts. Why does that name ring a bell, Landon Ricketts? I know that name. Uh, Flacco Hernandez. Emmett Granger. Jim Boy Calloway. Bar Love and the Jack Hall Gang. That makes up the famous Gunslingers collection card in the game. Okay, next. Pretty much done now, I'd say. Not long left. Let's have a fresh one, so that's always a good thing. 12 or 12 on that one. Oh yeah, let's go, baby. I don't know what's showing the pheasant. Alright. So that was this one. 12 of 12. Uh, Isabel Barlow. These are Gems of Beauty cards. Ilga Ulma. <laughs> Isabel Standish. Yeah, she, I'd say she's pretty compared to the rest. She's probably the best so far. No, I wouldn't say she's a beauty. She's got a funny looking mole and face. She's naturally beauty. Uh, natural beauty. Nah, stuck up. Wouldn't trust her. Do not trust them eyes. Nope, she looks dopey. No, nope, too much hair. She looks like Princess Leah. Sadie Russell. Definitely not. She looks like this sort of woman has got hairy armpits. She looks like Princess Diana. Uh, we all know what happened to her. Uh, Maud Engel. Uh, not my cup of tea. 
ribbon and bows in the hair. Square cut. No, no. I'm, no. Geraldine Emerson. Uh, no. Jenny Willits. No. There you go. So if I had to pick my favourite out of all them, it's definitely her. Isabel Standish. She's definitely the better of the lot. All right, next one. We've got to be damn close now, man. Oh, there you go, 12 of 12. Another one, 12 of 12. Job done. All right, so look at these ones. The Marvels of Travel cards. The showboat, although it looks like it's about to go over a waterfall, so um, unlucky for that. Steam locomotive, choo choo, with someone hogtied on the track, as you would. Uh, goat carriage, <laughs> US frigate, a packet ship, Balineer whaling vessel. The what? The Velocipede? Velocipede? Ped? The Velocipede? I thought it was just called a unicycle. Uh, elephant carriage. Mm, India, maybe. Stagecoach. There we go. Pew, pew, pew. That's me on that horse. Camel caravan. Hot air balloon. We've been on one of them. The Shuna with an octopus. Does that mean there's an octopus in this game? I doubt it. So there's the marvels of travel cards. I'm not actually sure what is left to, ch to finish. Oh, there you go. There's that one left to finish. So we're not done yet. Oh, that's 12 out of 12 on that one. I'll check that one now. Oh. Satchel. And 10 out on that one. So let's have a look at the... Is this one that's done, isn't it? Yep, 12 out of 12. So, uh, first one then. Lawrence Dunn. Jesse Raymond. Robert Elliot Patchen. Augusta Tremlow. Irene Grubb, and this is the start of the stage card collection. Louis Durand, or Durano. Marielle Potter, I wonder if there's any relation to Harry. Nettie Palmer. Mitty Comstock, oh, she looks miserable. Isidore Reed. Jim Cobb. Robin Koninsky, I think that is. So well, that is that collection complete. And oh, we know that's a duplicate. So actually before I go any further, let me just see. That one's ten, that one's complete, we know that's complete. That's nine. Which is uh, what's that? Vista scenery and prominent Americans. That's twelve. That's twelve, isn't it? Yeah. That's 12, 12, 12, champions is 11, and we've done that one as well, haven't we, arts, yeah, so we've just got three to collect, three packs, three uh, collections to go, which is the world champions, 
which is just one card. Prominent American and Vistas of America. Three collections to go. Oh no, some chocolate while I do this and a drink. Ten or twelve, good, good, good. Eleven as well. Oh, 12 out of 12 on that one. World champion sets. Two more sets to go. So, the world champions card set. Red Rocket. Oh no, that's the name of the cigarettes. Uh, Theobald gets in. Percy Wood. Edwin Rowe. What's that? H.T. Slocum? Uh, Captain Jack Page, Ed Wing, Eddie, Ed Ewing, even William Slyker, Felix Hawley, I thought I said Fatsy then, Patsy Hill, Edwin Singerly, R.S. <laughs> I only said hard on for that one, R.S. Haradon, Axel McCormack, and that is the World Champions Card Collection set. Two more to go. Two more to go. <coughs> Try and do it too quick and it's not registering. Twelve or twelve. Oh yeah, baby. Now it's prominent Americans. So Oh what's he doing? That just leaves one Get away from the bourbon. Right, yes, yeah, so that just leaves one collection to go. So let's go and check out the second to last collection. Uh Prominent Americans, 12 cards, here we go. So, Senator, for DS Waxman. Harvey Griggs. J.D. McKnight. Levictus Cornwall, who we uh, <coughs> saw die. 
pew pew. General Cornelius Palmer. Henrietta Beatrice Woods. We've met her as well. I think we've met most of these. We haven't met him. President Alfred McAllister. General Quincy Harris. Lillian Powell. President Fisher. Luther Covington. President Hardin. And that is all of the prominent Americans. One collection left to go. How many do we need for that collection? Let's have a look before I continue. And that collection, I believe, is this one. Yes, one. We need one. Vistas of America, one missing card. And we've got the full collection to every set. Come on. RNG has been very kind so far, I'd say. It hasn't taken nowhere near as long as I expected it to. Uh, what's up, man? Oh, oh, is that it? Is that it? Or was that a double? Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Full collection. Full collection. So, Vistas of America. Let's have a look. Rio Bravo. San Francisco. Blackwater. Which is part of this game. It's where I currently live now. On the outskirts. Valentine, also part of this game. Tall trees. The Grizzly. Oh, maybe they all are. Rhodes, they all are. Armadillo. Chicago. Well, obviously Chicago's not. Annisburg is. New York's not. Saint, uh, Saint Denis is. Uh, there we go then. So that's the location cards. Banging. That is every single collection. And I'll just confirm, just make sure I haven't missed a collection. Um, we just checked in. That's 12 of 12. 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 12, of 12. I got very lucky the doubles as well, if I'm honest. I expected to have doubles all over the place. All so far, 12 of 12. 12 of 12. And 12 of 12. So that's, what's that, 4, 8, 12 different collection sets. 12 in each. And I have every single one of them bad boys. So that, I'm surprised there's no achievement for that. If I'm honest. I am surprised there's no achievement for that. Maybe we have to sell them. Who was the dude that wanted to buy them? Let's have a look. Um, documents. Letters. Hunting requests. Notes. Books. Business cards. That wasn't him, was it? I think that was him. Is that him? Mr. Francis Sinclair collects a hawk's eye cabin near Strawberry. I'm pretty sure he gave me his business card at the start of the game, but I do not remember his name. But that is how to get every single card in the game at a cost. That has to be the quickest way to get every single premium cigarette collector's card. I mean, how long did that take? Let's have a look. Uh, get player time. 56 minutes, give or take. So less than an hour. And I only had a couple. Just what I've been picking up through the game and then I got out of packets myself. That technique that right there has to be the fastest way by far. 
Nice. Right. Now, let's... Now we're finishing this. Come on, I'll give you some free shot. Where did she go then? I rescued her, but she's buggered off. Didn't even say thank you. How rude. Right. So. Near Strawberry. Hunting cabin near Strawberry. Well, Strawberry is over here, right? There. Taxidermist home. Old Tom's blind. Oh, how the hell are we meant to find him? But we do need to go here anyway, so. Is there transport out of? Yes, there is. Will it let me use it though? Because nothing else around here seems to work for me. Yes, it does. Take a ride. Uh, strawberry. $14.30. What? Okay. What did I get on the top and not in the back? It's raining. And my horse is following. Good horse. Nothing to sleep out your eyes. We're here. You saved me some time there. Thank you. Just to confirm, the business card, where was it? If we're trying this, Francis. It says, Hawk's Eye Cabin near Strawberry. So it's not actually in Strawberry. Now, let's go to the map and zoom all the way in. There's nothing listed as Hawk's Eye Cabin anywhere. Oh, Hawk's Eye Creek over here. So, okay, we will head, could be either side, but we'll head this way. That makes sense, right? Go up the side of the creek, but now what I do want to do is the post office, wherever that is. Because apparently there's a letter waiting for me, or a parcel. Uh, oh. Sorry. The mayor? Could I kill the mayor? Could I actually kill the mayor of this city? Hi there. Good day, kind sir. Hello. Enjoy our fair town in peace and be nice. Be nice. Hmm. All we ask is you give us a chance. Alright, so where is the post office in this town? I know there is one. 
I'm pretty sure there is one. Oh, maybe there's not then. Ah, oh, god damn you. Unless it's here. It is, it's down there. It's covered up by the other icon. I thought it was. We've been there before. Yeah, we did, because we collected parcels from this dude. Hey there. You Hector? That's me. I've been told you're a discouraged man. Ah, you must be a friend of that Josiah Trelawney. Hmm. All right. In that case, I've got something here you might want to take a look at. Mm hmm. There's a stage heading up from Blackwater. Now, I hear it'll be heavily guarded, so you might want to try a more covert approach. Or lay down some explosives. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You're the expert. All right, Hector. Appreciate it. You enjoy the rest of your day. All right. Suit yourself. Well, I'm actually coming here for another reason, so let me actually open up my parcel, please. It's the second post office I've been to and it does not let me collect my parcel. What's going on with the game? Why is it being like this to me? Why are you being like this? I've got a goddamn parcel to collect. This happened in my Charles one. I kept doing this and I kept going there, they wouldn't let me get it and eventually one of them allowed me to pick it up. They're still saying I've got mail there, look. It's got the little icon on the post office to indicate I've got mail. I can't talk to him either. There must be a bug. I must be bugged. Evening. Someone, come on. Where's this vendor? If I can't talk to this vendor, it's bugged. Evening, mister. Which is really not a cool thing to be. Yeah, no, I can't even talk to this shopkeeper. Why am I bugged then? I thought it was strange I couldn't speak to the fence in that other little town. Was that premium cigarettes there as well? So you could do it in this shop, but they're so awkward to get to. Still can't speak to him. The cat looks right there as well. Okay, looks like I might have to save and then reload the save. Yeah, I know I've got an open mail game. I know I have. Alright. A 
Hopefully that fits. Better do anyway. This better fix. If I can't speak to uh, shopkeepers and collect mail, if I've got a corrupt save now, for whatever reason, that's going to be a little bit gutting. It's going to limit what I can do in the game now, if that's the case. Well, fingers crossed. This works now. I'll be able to tell from the newspaper vendor if I can't use the newspaper vendor. Nope, I can only greet and antagonize. What's going on? Why is my game screwed? Okay, yep, yeah, my game's bugged. Oh, there we go. Receive mail. Woohoo! A letter from the mayor. These are troubling times at City Hall. Company been sending men by. They'd like nothing less than to see me rot. I tell you what. Please accept this token. What token? That you'd be formally commended for your recent services to the city of Saint Denis. Please accept this token of gratitude of the citizenry, citizens, citizenry, <laughs> along with a personal message from the mayor. Tell you something, Havelock Appleseed may not be a bastard, but he sure is a son of a bitch if you get my meaning. Okay. What are you sending then? What, Doctor Crawford? Won't take no time. No, I'm not going to say that because I don't know what it's just what. Where's it just sent them? Wait, what? Cigarette card collector. Check back at the post office next week, couple of days for a reward. Okay. As long as you can cover postage. I'll send these in. See what happens. There's me looking for the collector. But maybe this was what you had to do, you had to post them. So we'll just post every pack. Every collection we've got. This will get there safe and sound. I'm guessing you can't post them if it's not a full collection. So I've never seen that option before. On its way. It'll be there before you know it. That'll head out 
directly. We'll post this with the next courier. Hey there, friend. Come back in a little while. I have something you might want to take a look at. All right, we'll send this out for you. We'll get it there for you. Be there before you know it. Won't take no time at all. We'll post this with the next courier. Oh, there we go. Rare achievement. 0.49%. Woo, woo, woo. So, that's... What? Well, you've mailed the final complete cigarette card set to the card collector. Check back at the post office in the next couple of days for your final reward. Nice. So, we've collected every single card in the game. We've now sent them by pure fluke. I was going to actually look for his um, house. I'm imagining you can go to his house as well. It tells you where he lives. It's up the creek. Uh, but by pure chance, I could see that I can mail him for free. So, that's always a good thing, right? Who's this whistling at me? What do you want? Have you seen my dog? I've been looking everywhere for her. She's been gone for hours. Can you help me find her? Please? Oh, I suppose so. Sure, I'll keep an eye out. Not I was in the middle of talking about my cigarette cards or nothing, mate. I surely do. She must be getting real hungry by now. She's a foxhound. You know, white and brown. If you find her, I live in a house on the edge of town. Thank you, mister. Oh, watch this dog could be literally anywhere in this town. Well, I suppose it does pass the time. Can I shout for the dog? No, I can't. Partner? Hello. Hello. Where is the dog? That's quite a wide zone. Let me see how wide that zone actually is. No, I didn't mean to press cinematic. I meant to press map. Oh, wow. Okay. What's the yellow circle? Is that where the owner of the dog is? Is that what that is? So I'm guessing this dog is not actually in the town. Not if the perimeter is that large. Well, that is on the riverbank. Was that him over there, or was that the dog? Or was that where he lives? Let's go over there and see. Maybe that's an indicator of where he lives, because I'm pretty sure it's roughly about All just in front of me. Let's 
no dog here. So that can't be a marker for the dog. I'm not sure what that marker is. So let's check all the outskirts and I guess. Well, I want that mail to hurry up and arrive then. What do we get? That's the question. What do we get for every cigarette collection card? Hey, doggy, doggy, doggy. Oh, what a barking over there. Could be anyone's dog, though, to be fair. But that was definitely a barking. Is that the mayor again? No. Yes, it was a barking over there, I heard. Sweet. Come on, boy. Where are you? you home. Oh, your buddy missed you, girl. Is it following me? Yeah, sweet. So if I don't return this dog, will this dog just follow me everywhere in the game now? Could I steal this dog? Is this an Easter egg? Potentially. I mean, obviously, the game's got the mechanics for a dog to follow you. That'd be quite cool when you catch things like birds or rabbits. The dog goes and fetches it for you. Oh, is he? Oh, nice. You must be able to have your own dog in this game at some point, surely. Oh, you got one on the farm, but it doesn't follow you like this. You'll be able to, like, target people and, like, have an attack command. Come on, dog. Come on, this way.
Ain't this the house where, um, Micah, was it Micah? Who did we break out? I think it was Micah we broke out of jail, I can't remember. He went in that house for his weapons. Thank you, thank you, mister. We ain't never spent a night apart. She's the closest thing to a family I got left. I'm glad I could help. You take care of her now. Unopened mail. Hey there, come All on right. over. Suit I got yourself. something here that might be of interest. Another coach robbery tip. So I've got loads of side bits to do in this game. It just seems to be endless. There's a stage heading up from Blackwater. Now I hear it'll be heavily guarded, so you Oi, you just charged me for the same tip you gave me earlier. Or lay down some explosives. You sneaky git. I don't know. <laughs> You're the expert. Alright, Hector. Appreciate it. You enjoy the rest of your day. All right, suit yourself. Post office. Oh, wow. Okay, so after sending all those cigarette cards off, I have now got 17 parcels. Oh, my God, I got 17 parcels. In the mail. 17. So we have $50. Kaching. A ginseng elixir. $100. A platinum chain necklace. Another $50. A special snake oil. Another $50. Special horse medicine. Another $100. Gold Nugget, another $50. Eagle Feather, Special Miracle Tonic, another $50. Valerian Root, whatever that is, uh, another $50. Aged Pirate Rum, Vintage Civil War Handcuffs, oh, ho, ho. bang it. I needed that. What did I need that for? A trinket, I think. I think I needed that for a trinket. The alligator trinket. In Saint Denis. I had the other two pieces. The alligator tooth and something else. Oh, brilliant. Another $100. Dynamite. Volatile. $200. $50. Small jewelry bag, fifty dollars. Perfect rabbit pout, a hundred dollars. Oh my god! Now, I'm assuming that is all for the collections. So, wow. Uh, yeah, that I'm still going, but yeah, yeah. Did that reflect my money, though? I mean, how much money did I just pick up there? I believe it did. Oh, did it? Mind you, I spent a lot in the uh, general store just a minute ago, I guess. Uh, but, wow. If that is the prizes or rewards for... The collection cards. Wow. That's what I can say. A small bag of jewellery can be sold for cash. Reward for collecting a cigarette card set. Sweet. Used to craft a unique item at the fence. Nice. Nice. 
So that is for the alligator. There you go. That's how you get the alligator. Not the alligator. Yeah, it's the alligator trinket. Or the gator trinket. Eagle feather can be used in crafting or sold. Gold nuggets sold to a fence. Platinum chain necklace. So we've got a bunch of nice stuff there. I will give you stamina experience. We'll have to take some of that then. Instant drunkenness. Boom. Love it. I'm going to go and collect my uh, trinket then, I guess. Sweet. <laughs> 